Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for November 15th, 2022. Well, we've got Thanksgiving just around the corner, and we have kind of an interesting market setting up for today. Yesterday, we saw those bulls just say, oh, we don't care about the PPI and we just want to go higher pushing up in the pre-market only to reverse substantially by the end of the day. More than a 400 point swing on the Dow at the end of the day, leaving some shooting stars behind um, across the indexes. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Now clearly we've had this diamonds that the Dow has been the strongest of the indexes breaking that downtrend here um, and just showing all kinds of bullishness here in, in the market and showing very little respect to resistance levels as we've been moving up. If you'll take a look right in here, we are pushing up toward a really substantial level of price resistance and unfortunately leaving a shooting star behind right there yesterday adds a little bit of uncertainty but that being said we have some reports today that could move us around pretty substantially so if those bulls were to find inspiration well um, you, your guess is as good as mine this is a big resistance level to the upside but maybe we could push a little bit higher right up into here um, um, if those bulls find that inspiration, we'll want to watch that closely. However, if the bears find inspiration, there's a fairly clear level of support right down in this area here that we'll want to be keeping an eye on. And I think it should be a wide area, kind of between here and maybe all the way down into there on that price action support. So keep an eye on that if those bears find inspiration today. And if we were to take a look at our technicals here in the chart, notice we're well above our 500. We just went straight back up here in the market. But the good news, the good news is we're finally starting to get our shorter term moving averages to respond to the upside. Our 50 day moving average has turned up. So even if we start coming back down, we may find some support in those technical averages, but we certainly are parabolic in this move to the upside. But when you look at that move right there, that is a very parabolic in that chart. And unfortunately, we still have so many uncertainties out there in the path forward. Um, it could be a painful pullback if it does begin. So just kind of keep a close eye on that. Now, this morning, we've had some things that are going to affect the diamonds here quite a bit. First off, we had a Home Depot report that, well, um, beat estimates, but kind of disappointed, I guess, um, in some way, shape or form, maybe looking forward. However, Walmart reported this morning and Walmart reported a good report and guided higher based on grocery sales so keep an eye on that we've got bullishness coming in on that stock so both of those have an effect here on the Dow so we'll want to watch that again we have all that inspiration just just in the Dow if we take a look at our spy well our SPY did a pretty good job yesterday as well pumping up in the pre-market and pushing up here in the beginning but unfortunately by the end of the day we left a, a kind of a nasty looking shooting star pattern in here that closed below the Friday candle and as you can see we're just respecting some price resistance up here in the chart nothing major but um, a little bit of uncertainty and we will want to remind ourselves that overall the SPY remains in a downtrend so let's watch these levels up here in the chart as we continue to try to press to the upside kind of keeping in mind that this is a very very steep rally here that's been going on and perhaps we need a little bit of rest a pullback or a consolidation wouldn't be out of the question now the technicals of these charts continue to um, improve as you can see we're pressing up toward that 200 day moving average and that may be the ultimate upside target here for the SPY and you can see we've got that 
that 50 day moving average starting to turn. But unfortunately, we also have a really big point move that could pull us back just to test that 200 day moving average, which adds quite a little bit of danger um, chasing stocks long at the moment. So watch that close. Now, if we were to take a look at our QQQ, well, QQQ also has a little bit of challenge here in the market. And as you can see, we pressed up here pretty solidly yesterday and then again reverse leaving a shooting star. Now remember a shooting star doesn't necessarily mean anything unless it follows through to the downside. And you can see that we're getting a pre-market pump here in, in uh, the QQQ trying to push right back up and just a full overnight reversal here in the NASDAQ. And we saw um, Hong Kong surge, tech stocks in Hong Kong really surged. But we've got European markets very flat this morning. They're being a lot more cautious based on what our numbers might be than we're seeing here in the US. Um, but we're pushing up here pretty strongly here in the pre-market on that to retest this resistance level in the chart. And it's a fairly substantial area of resistance if the bulls can push on through there well we've got a little bit more we could squeeze into another area of price resistance in the chart before we run into some trouble and that may just be that push right up here to um, push toward that 200 day moving average so keep an eye on that now our our QQQ remains the weakest of the bunch and really lagging behind all the other indicators or all the other indexes out there and you can see we still have substantial move to move up here into um, our downtrend and if those bears were to find inspiration well we have a pretty good price support right in here um, if we were to reverse and go back down so watch that carefully if um, we get some bearish inspiration here with that PPI number. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now IWM kind of had the worst of it yesterday and it followed through reacting and showing deference to this downtrend resistance here in the chart. So we saw that pullback here um, um, last couple of trading days. We popped up there, tried to break it and then just reacted negatively to it pulling back but here again we're getting the pre-market pump trying to push us up and reverse that attitude here overnight so keep an eye on that and just keep in mind that we do have some price support right here in the chart and if we can find that bullish action in here we've got price resistance right up in here we'll want to be watching pretty closely that kind of that double whammy of the downtrend and price resistance in the chart technically speaking here on iwm we're right there at our 50 or excuse me our 200 day moving average um, and that can sometimes create a little bit of a stopping point or a hesitation point um, in uh, the market so watch that let's take a look at our VIX even though we had that big old whipsaw yesterday we didn't really get a major reaction here in the VIX it's just been truly remarkable even though we continue to hear from all of the institutions that hey we're going to face a pretty substantial recession going into next year um, uh, companies are likely going to struggle a bit we're hearing a lot about big layoffs and we're really ignoring those things right now with this idea we just want to buy 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 in the market so it is kind of remarkable to me that we have suddenly shifted from ultimate fear to just we don't care no fear at all um, in the market. Now that being said, we'll want to keep a close eye here around that 25 handle in the chart. As we rally back up toward that area, that can serve as a pretty substantial resistance area in the chart. So if we push back up into there, we may not go any further and we can also have that downtrend um, helping us out here in the chart. So we may find some resistance in that chart and then just keep moving that market up and the VIX down if that resistance holds in that chart. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 really gives us probably our biggest reason for maybe a bit of a caution here in the market. Now 
we have been elevated here um, in T2122 before where we've lingered, as you can see, right over in here where we pushed down and lingered and popped right back up and we just linger in here for several days. So keeping in mind that that same situation could occur if we can find that inspiration here for the bulls and they're the bulls are very tenacious right now and they just want to push the market higher and as you can see here we certainly have that possibility yesterday with that selling that we've opened up that opportunity for that pop back to the upside and right now the dow futures are showing us that pop right now up 200 points so my guess is as long as the ppi doesn't disappoint we're going to have t2122 right up here again at the um, at the top level of of the indicator suggesting that we're in the bearish reversal zone and that we can see some selling now the ppi will probably be the determining factor whether or not that stays bullish for the day or if we um, come back around to the downside so keep a close eye on that then let's take a look at our t2107 now our t2107 hooked over a little bit right at the end of the day um, yesterday most of the day it was trying to it was kind of flat trying to get going to the upside but we might have shown a little bit of overextension here in that t2107 and we got a little bit of rest um, pulling back right at the end of the day but you know, 48% of the stocks holding above, or excuse me, 44% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average is still very, very bullish. We may be just a little bit stretched out here um, overall and need a bit of a rest or a pullback in that, but we have support underneath that could hold us if we find that reason for bearishness here in the market. So big reversal here um, in T2107 and boy, the buyers just seem uh, very tenacious. To, they just want to keep the market um, going to the upside despite the, the big extension and despite the risk of stretching it even further. Now, if we take a look at our T2108, whoops, T2108, we have also stretched up here pretty substantially. And you can see last time in August, we perched or peaked right up here in a very strong extension. If I pull this back, you can see over the um, several, um, several years, getting up in this area is kind of that extreme level in uh, bullishness of the market and we're kind of approaching that and with the pump up this morning maybe we pump right up right back up into that august area here where we show that extreme extension and then of course we know the result of that i'm not suggesting that we're going to do the same thing but we could see some resting pullback in that just a little relief to that buying a little bit of profit taking if those bears find some inspiration in here. So watch that close. Our T2101 continues to show that hook to the, um, the other side where that momentum may have shifted a little bit to the downside. Um, we'll see if that continues to hold today, but maybe just a little shift. We do have some resistance in that chart that could say, nope, we're gonna reverse this and keep that bullish move going. Um, so watch that close. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, well, our economic calendar, we know that this is going to be kind of an interesting morning um, on that economic calendar. As you can see right in here, we've got that PPI number. Now, what's interesting about that is the PPI um, consensus is actually suggesting that producer prices increased just slightly last month. Now that, I don't know how the market's going to react to that. Common sense would tell me the market would react negatively to that. But we've seen a lot of negative um, economic reports that the bulls just ignore and keep pushing. Now, if it comes in better than that, we could get the same kind of response that we saw in the CPI. Even though the numbers are high, we just, you know, 7.7% .7 inflation is not not very bullish, but we just chose to ignore uh, that inflationary rate and chose to ignore that the Fed is going to continue to raise rates and just really decided to surge hard into the market. If we get a number that is better than the consensus, 
then we could easily do that same kind of surge to the upside here today. So you make that decision. I think anything is possible here this morning, so watch that close. And then Empire State Manufacturing um, is expected to improve over the last reading, but still um, expected to show a substantial negative in our manufacturing. So keep a close eye on that. Fed speakers continue to come out and say, hey, we're not backing off. Um, there may be a time here in the near future that we reduce the rate of, of increases, meaning going to 50 basis point increase rather than 75 basis point increases. But uh, they've been coming out pretty steadily and, and readily saying, yeah, we're going to keep raising rates because it's too early to change that so watch that uh, the comments of those Fed speakers throughout the week and then keep in mind after we get through today's uncertainty and the reaction that will occur from that well we're gonna face retail sales and industrial production numbers tomorrow morning um, retail sales will be out before the bell obviously that could be pretty dramatic um, if we see those retail numbers starting to fall. So keep a close eye on that. And then we've got those mortgage applications in there first thing in the morning as well. Petroleum status, of course, that's important for the day. Um, we've seen those oil prices hold up just pretty darn well. And um, we saw another OPEC um, um, cut in production. So um, keep an eye on that. We could see those energy prices continue to hold up if those numbers are starting to continue to show supply declines. Then um, we do have these business inventories tomorrow and housing market index. Those will be important. Obviously, business inventories have been a little bit challenged here recently. Um, housing market index, of course, going to be important because we've seen quite a few of those housing numbers starting to deteriorate. So watch that closely tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today. Our earnings calendar, we're starting to diminish the number of earnings, but we've certainly had, uh, we certainly have some of those um, notables to be paying attention to. So I already mentioned a couple of those notables this morning. Home Depot that's showing, well, maybe just a little bit of um, pullback um, after their earnings report and then we've got Wally World just running hard here this morning because their grocery sales were up keep a close eye on these they're going to have a major effect on that Dow this morning we also have advanced auto parts that will be reporting today now this has been a substantial downtrend and we've pressed right up into that downtrend right up into some price resistance heading into that earnings report we'll want to watch that one now um, um, uh, donut um, who doesn't like um, a donut um, whoops I gotta type the right symbol there we go um, they um, reporting today it looks like we got a little bit of bearishness coming in here as Krispy Kreme's reporting um, again those consumer products where we're starting to see Maybe those retail sales um, starting to diminish a little bit because of the the constraint that consumers are feeling. We'll want to watch those pretty carefully uh, moving forward. I think next year, first first and second quarter might be a little bit challenging for earnings reports. So watch that close. Uh, TME TME is also on the list today getting a big pop here in the pre-market on its earnings report looks like it's going to attempt to break some resistance here in that chart so watch that closely now if you want to catch the full list of notables not a huge list this, this morning but click that link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you can do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and I do truly appreciate it. Hey, one of the things I want to remind you guys of is today, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern tonight, if you jump over onto our website in the free public trading room, um, you will find that I will be there 8 p.m. doing a live public 
webinar tonight. So you're all invited. Come on over. We'll be doing some discussion of some price action and talking about some of the ways you can improve your win-loss ratio today. So if you have an interest in that, come on over. I'd like to see you tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Time in the public trading room. You'll find it, the link to that right on the main page of the Hit and Run Candlesticks website. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence and, and be very, very careful um, about these trades. Now one thing that I th thought was pretty interesting yesterday, although we saw the dollar bounce up just a little bit yesterday, we saw gold and silver holding up really strong. Now look at what's going on here this morning. We've got the dollar falling substantially here this morning and we're likely to see gold and silver continuing that surge to the upside boy what a change here in that move now you got to be careful chasing something that's moved up so much um, in such a short period of time but any rest or pullback in here I think sets up an opportunity and I think we could say that also about silver silver very very strong in this move you'll want to notice that we're pressing up into a substantial level of price resistance here in silver but a rest or pullback could set up that opportunity in the chart and if the dollar continues to weaken then I would expect we will see gold and silver continue to surge to the upside. You might also want to be taking a, a, a look at other metals like copper. Copper has been surging to the upside and as the dollar weakens, that's going to continue to move up. Anything commodity could have an upside opportunity if the dollar weakens. And so take a look at copper or maybe SCCO. Take a look at aluminum. Um, that's also coming up out of this bottom. Take a look at um, anything in energy. Um, those oil um, related stocks continue to move up and you might even want to take a look at stocks in that refining area like Valero um, continuing to stretch to the upside looking very very good any rest or pullback setting up an opportunity there um, in those prices so as we see these currency fluctuations continuing to move around then you're going to want to watch that pretty darn closely because some of these could set up some really good opportunities to swing back to the upside maybe even an ETF um, um, like DBC commodity tracking ETF as you can see that's trying to pick up here move to the upside so watch that closely so um, other places that you might look there's some pretty good things happening here um, excuse me not that chart uh, pretty good things happening here in 3m really strong move this was my price alert on that chart a um, little bit of consolidation coming in here now into 3m and remember this is a good divvy pair if there's uncertainty in the market some of these divvy pairs um, 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 set up pretty good uh, for um, that upside opportunity so keep an eye on those you might also want to keep a close eye on some of the retailers today because of our Walmart trade um, you might want to take a look at Target Target getting some benefit here this morning from Walmart so any rest or pullback in these could set up some opportunities to the upside take a look at um, like Macy's Macy's pushing up here pushing into a resistance zone but again if we're going to get have Walmart moving up well maybe we get some knock-on effects to Macy's and things like Kohl's uh, moving to the upside so watch that carefully on the food side take a look at Kroger um, Kroger um, had a pretty nasty whipsaw here in this pullback but I want you to notice that Kroger's holding some price support in here and remember Walmart's um, big um, saving grace today was the fact that grocery was doing really really well well here you go Kroger uh, getting some knock-on effects from that Walmart report this morning keep an eye on all of this resistance in the chart however so with that guys hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for being here hope to see a lot of you tonight in the free public webinar at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, until then, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, great results in your trading, and I'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best.